the um, I remember when, when when tourism first started coming because we we noticed that the um, like as kids we would always be going to the um, the local the local variety stores and buying penny candy and candy and stuff like that. But things started getting more expensive, you know, like the, for the locals. It, it was it wasn't the same and and more people on the main street, which we weren't used used to seeing. Because the main street was, you know, like you'd always see kids in that on the main street, but now you were seeing more adults and from different places, you know, like um, strangers. <laughs> but uh, but it was good because the, the shops, people, the, the mom and pa grocery stores started being bought out by different chains. Like I remember Baskin Robbins came in. We thought, oh, good, that's going to be ice cream. But a lot of people from from Niagara Falls were buying stores on the main street, and uh, and, and and it changed things because um, it was getting bigger, bigger, brighter, better, but, but the people in town couldn't, didn't have the money to put into the store. Like they had, a, they made enough money to exist, but they didn't make enough money to, to do the renovations and the buildings were starting to fall down. All these new people would come in and pay what we thought was an unbelievable price, then spend more money fixing the buildings up. And, and as I remember as, as kids, we saw that because we'd see these big shiny new buildings coming up and they, they looked nice and bright and we thought, Oh, that's that's pretty good, you know. We thought this this Shaw Festival, is, it's a pretty good pretty good thing because it was it was also creating jobs for young people too. Like uh, they were working in the, I remember um, uh, Donna's Ice Cream, which used to be Campbell's Dairy. Now it was Donna's Ice Cream Shop, and uh, a lot of kids in town worked in that ice cream shop, you know, just to serve an ice cream and things like that. And and Bates's Drugstore, it became um, they they broke it up into two stores. And uh, kids, kids were work. It was Kennedy, Kennedy's drugstore now. Kids were working Kennedy's, and a lot, a lot of the places were, were hiring local kids for the summertime when it was busy. So that it was, a, it was a boon for, for the young kids. They, they had summer jobs because before that, all the kids in town worked on farms, picked fruit, and did stuff like that. That was the only way you could make any money. And you know, the, and of course, the candy factory. I remember, remember playing in the candy factory, but I, uh, I never worked in the candy factory. I remember my dad worked over there part time. I can't remember what he was doing, but uh, I remember he worked. But it was a great place to to play amongst the boxes and we build forts and stuff like that. Yeah, the tourists the tourists started coming and things started changing. Like uh, we we lost our, our our coal yards, for example, because modernization. People were going to gas, but the but the tourists they um, it, it wasn't meant because we were used to. As a young boy, we used to go down to when the Cuga pulled in and the tourists would, would come from Toronto, we would uh, dive for money. Like they would do, you, and they would throw money and you, you would dive for it and, and you'd put it in your mouth, keep it in your mouth. But um, so that when the tourists first started coming was on the Cuga. And then, of course, the Cuga stopped running because the um, people were driving cars. And, and you used to sit and you would try and guess okay, what color car do you think is coming next? And say, I say red, I say blue. Well, it might be yellow or green but anyway now you see a long lineup of cars <laughs> you can, there's no guessing when a car is going to come it's when are they going to stop coming because the, the, the stone road like uh, it was never very busy but now when Shaw Festival came in it was busy and then, and then of course parking became a problem like you never had a problem parking in town it used to have angle angle parking and, and the, I can still remember the uh, they had rings in the curves where they used to tie the horses up and they, they replaced them, took them out. But now, with all these cars and buses, and buses, we never saw buses come down, ever. Now, buses were coming to town. And people didn't like that. They didn't like what's coming. You know, so they wanted them to, they used to park in front of the Masonic Lodge, and they would unload. Well, people didn't want that because there were, there were houses there, and they didn't want these fumes. So they arranged them to park out of Fort George. So we thought, well, they're going to kill the goose that laid the golden egg. Like, uh, you can't keep pushing these people around, you know. So anyway, it, it's worked out. They found solutions to these things, but it was, it was interesting.